Okay. For well, today, we're going to cover how to uh, visualize raster data. And uh, before again today, I want to maybe uh, quickly talk about some of the type assignments and some of the common issues that you guys run into. I know many of you are very frustrated. You're starting having some complicated stuff and then you run into all kinds of errors. Don't know how to resolve. But trust me, after a couple of times, you will be become very good at debugging how to solve the issue. So you need to know how, where do you identify the problem and how do you resolve it. So everything, I mean, on GitHub is already have loads of GitHub action to help you testing the stuff. And I think the most common one that you, the problem that um, may be facing is the documentation due to website. The red one, either you have some typo or you have some input functions, things don't work as expected. And it's totally normal, okay? So I sent an email last time I, and asked you to switch to using the GitHub, GitHub Actions. So you need to come here to ask questions. And like I said, I've received so many emails the last couple of days, the last past week, and it's just wasting my time. Because many of you just send a screenshot and then saying this, it is, it, I, I, I don't know, I, it's not enough information for me to debug. So if you send me email or ask questions, make sure you provide the link to your repo or provide the link to the file or to the error message so that I can take a look. Sometimes if you just take a screenshot, it's just half of the story. It doesn't tell me what's wrong. So I, I have to, for example, I can, I, something wrong, I come here, I click, okay, do a blah, blah, I have a problem. Yeah, I don't know what is it, okay? And then I need to click to your to find your repo, right? Uh, sorry, Sam, is this your repo? Yeah. <laughs> And then I need to, okay, what are you, what is your repo, okay? Or maybe I just scroll down, maybe, yeah, I guess maybe it's this one, okay? And then, okay, what's an error? Okay, now it's good, but last time probably there's some error, I need to go to actions. I see how many clicks that I need to go to. So just provide the link, direct link to it, okay? And then I click, I can take a look, I can tell you what's wrong. Because the more time they take me to resolve it, to help you, um, the less efficient, okay? So. I try to make things easy for you guys. You should just provide the link. That's it, okay? And don't send me an email anymore unless it's something private, uh, lab extension or you cannot come, whatever. Then it's fine. But I want you to become gradually familiar with how to ask questions on GitHub because um, slowly you will learn how to ask a good question, how to make things reproducible. And that's super important because you report something, you need to make sure that other people can reproduce it. Otherwise, if I cannot, I don't know what's the issue. So it should become very difficult. So look at those questions. Uh, all these questions so far I have asked, none of you provide the link. I always click to your icon and click to repo. Not good, okay? So in the future, try to be, um, uh, at least provide the link to your problem. And next, I want to point out like some of the common issues that so far that uh, have encountered. There are two primary ones. Uh, the first one mostly having the issue with the MK Docs, okay? So MK Docs, do I mail? And this is the one controls how you build a website. And the common issue is that for some of the lab assignments, you have some of those notebooks that, um, for example, the lab 5, lab 4, you have some input function in there. So make sure that you, if you don't want it to execute, because if you contain the input function, think about that. The input function, you need to input something, otherwise it's going to stuck there. If it's stuck, it cannot run the notebooks. So you either have to common out the source code, the input function in your notebook, or you need to ignore that as it don't, don't run the notebook, don't execute it. I would not recommend just turn the execute to false because it will, it will not run any notebook. But some of the notebook you want to run because you want to test it, make sure things work properly. So it's better to turn this one to uh, true. Uh, either uppercase or lowercase is fine. But this is where you actually ignore which one you do not want. And the most common error so far that I, I, I have become aware is like this. So, under the documentation, like the docs folder. So here, the file path should be starting with whatever in here. If it is under the example, it will be examples, blah, blah, blah. Don't put the docs, okay? Don't put the docs at the beginning because this notebook is going to execute under the, assume it's under the docs directory. So if you put uh, docs and then labs and blah, 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 it's not going to work. So make sure that you don't um, um, uh, include the docs again. So for example, all my stuff under the lab assignment, lab four and lab five. So for me, it will be labs, lab five. So for you, if you put the lab five under the examples, then you'll be examples, uh, forward slash, and then lab five, something like that. 
And the other thing that sometimes if you like not very careful, so there's an uh, error that I just debugged earlier, that you here is double quotes and then the fire pass and then comma, double quotes. So if you accidentally just put a double quotes and then begin and the end, and you don't have double quotes in between, just comma, blah, comma, then it's going to run into issue because the file name is not correct. Okay. So make sure you understand there's a comma and there's a uh, double quote separated by a comma. Not just one single comma and then the file name and then comma, file name, comma. It's wrong. Okay. That's why you still want to run into errors. Make sense? So make sure you double check the file pass again and again. If you get into your documentation and then run, it says, okay, something is wrong when committing, converting the notebook to the website. There's an input function, blah, blah, blah. Then most likely your notebook is being executed. So if you don't want the notebook to execute it, exclude here. Make sense? And the second one, common one, is the typo. So the typo is controlled by here under the GitHub actions. It's not under the MK docs, it's under this one. So if you submit a pull request, it's going to use the docs view. If it directly pulls to GitHub or have any commit uh, to the main branch, it's going to run the docs. Okay, so these two, it depends on how you want to do it, but they are, they are the same. So if you click this docs view, and then if you come down to the, uh, this one off, so right here, so this is where you want to ignore, okay? So the, for the file, for example, uh, there's some txt file, has some typo, that's intentional. I don't want the typo to be checked for those txt files. You just come here, comma, start txt, or you may, might have some Microsoft Word document or whatever, or GeoJSON or anything. You don't want to check, then just comma, star whatever your file name, you will ignore. So this is uh, ignore the file type. The last one here is about ignoring a specific um, keyword that you don't want them to check. So for example here, I have a S -I -S -I -S -T. This is usually a, a acronym for histogram. I want it to be uh, treated as a correct, uh, not typo, right? So in this case, just put in here, all lowercase, okay? You don't have to use uppercase or anything. Just use the lowercase. So if you have any additional, for example, if you have something like called, uh, I don't know, like, there's some like NOM, N-O-M-E, right? I don't know, right? So the type, the, the typo is going to most likely treat this one as a typo. So if you don't want it to treat it as a typo, then you just comma, and then NOM, for example, will be here, right? So let me edit this file. And come here. I just add this one, okay? And comma, norm, whatever. So the typo that sometimes accidentally, right? So if you have a name or whatever, it, it cannot identify, okay? Or even sometimes my username, right? So a very common one will be, for example, my username. It's always going to treat it as a typo. So in my GitHub, I will just put this one in so that it doesn't treat it as a typo. So it's the correct one. And similarly, right? If you don't want to check TXT, you might also, you mo if you don't want it to, to check, like for example, Markdown file, in general, you want to check the Markdown and Jupyter Notebook and also .py. Don't put the MD, otherwise if you have typo in your Markdown file, it's not going to catch that. So, but in general, those default settings should work pretty well. Again, anytime if something goes wrong, just go to the Notebook and see what's wrong. Most likely it's because one of these, okay, either it's the typo or it's executing the notebook and then something is wrong with your notebook and then it cannot turn it into the website. So um, there's two common errors. The last one that I've received so far is because you create a new branch and then you work on the, new, work on the branch and then you merge it, but in your local copy, you forgot to switch to main branch. You continue to work on the branch that has been merged and then you're doing something and then trying to push it doesn't show up on the repo. And then if it doesn't show up, come here, look at this one. So there's probably there's another branch somewhere that you have been keep pushing. And then it's going to show you like, you are many commits ahead, many commits behind, something blah, blah. And then it's going to become a mess. You don't, unless you really know Git very well, you can resolve it. And for you guys, I would just recommend, right? So on your local copy, you're already making changes. You have been working the last assignment for a long time. But if you know, oh no, okay, I only make changes to these two files. Then you copy these two files to somebody else. To your hard drives, keep it somewhere because those are the ones that you make changes. 
and then just delete your copy on a local computer, delete whatever your repo, and then just git clone it again, okay? And then you copy these two files, overwrite it, then you can push, okay? So this usually we synchronize. Otherwise, if you have many branches and then you mess up, unless you know how to resolve it, otherwise you might having a trouble like, okay, well right now it doesn't allow me to push. It's saying that you are behind, you are some blah, blah. Yeah, because you, you didn't check out the local branch. So I would like to quickly show you here, right? So for example, I can, let me create a new branch, right? So right now everything is new. There's not much going on. So let me just get check out iPhone B, right? So imagine right now working on a new feature. I want to create something. I can do this. So for example, I just create a branch code feature. That's it. And after that, I can come back to my uh, somewhere here, for example, GeoH. I can add another, uh, add, add something, or I can just uh, come here, add basement, add bra, add uh, SP. So assume, okay, I'm going to add something new. For example, DF, I'm creating a new function. So later, we're going to, for example, visualize raster data set, okay? So I'm going to add, for example, raster. That's it. So you're going to provide me GitHub compiler, please. Okay, good. Then, yeah, I, I don't know whether it's right or, right or wrong. Assume, okay, that's good. I haven't tested it, so I don't know how it goes. But I assume, okay, this is the feature I want to add, and I'm done. So after that, just simply come here, okay? And I'm going to commit, okay? So I say add um, master function, okay? So right now, I'm in the feature branch. Also, sometimes you can click on the left side here. At the bottom, this will also show you the, show you the branch. Okay? You scroll down to the bottom here. we we'll show you the green one here. This is the one I'm working on. You see, I have a couple more branches in here. So you might need to delete the other branch because if you, previously, for example, I have a map branch. If you try to use the same branch name, it's sometimes you're going to mess it up. So the reason for that is if it already exists, you're just going to check out that branch. And that branch might be already behind the main branch. So before you create a new branch, you can either check here or you can just get just type git branch just to see like what kind of branch you already have in your local computer if the name already exists you probably want to choose a different name because otherwise we may stop sometime later you want to have trouble so for me i will use it like this uh on my linux computer as a shortcut they can delete all the branches all at once just one command i forgot what it is but here right for example if you need to delete a branch it will be git to show you git branch and then hyphen uppercase D. Uppercase D means delete. So right now, look, pay attention here, right? The main branch, you can never delete the main branch, okay? The main is the one you need to keep. So I have the domain, I have the uh, map and the typo. So if it's something I don't want, for example, I delete the domain branch. So pay attention, right? See on the left, go on. Do the same thing. The map branch, okay? Be gone, and then typo branch, delete it. Good. Now, so usually after you merge the branch to your main branch on GitHub, try to delete the one locally because later on, if you create a new branch, if you say the same name, you will mess up. Yes? Yes, so GitHub, uh, let me show you later, okay? So after it's merged, it should be automatic. So if you want to turn on the settings, it should be go to uh, settings. And then if you scroll all the way down, there should be one called automatically delete head branches. So this one will delete the branch on GitHub, but it will not delete the branch on your local computer. So you still have to delete it just like what I did earlier using Visual Studio Code. But the nice thing, you, on GitHub, it will be automatically handled. So let me show you what, what is uh, later, right? Assume right now, okay, I'm done with this uh, new function, okay? So I have add this new stuff and I'm ready to push this uh, new branch. So just control, uh, enter. And it's take a couple seconds because I have uh, the pre-commit, so it's going to check in the source code. But for you guys, it should be pretty fast. And then I just push this one to, um, to GitHub, and then I can start creating the pull request to uh, most um, most the uh, uh, source code. So wait a little bit. A little bit too slow. Again, you can remember this command. Git branch is to show you all the branch, the local computer. And uh, hyphen D is to just um, 
delete. Okay, means delete. And then you put in the name. What's the oh. And if you're trying to contribute to a to an open source uh, package, GitHub, you will need to use the Git branch. You cannot just push things to my repo, okay? For example, you cannot push to my repo. You don't just don't have the uh, admin right to push my repo. So everything to be submitted through a pull request. It's taking. The recording is yes. So GitHub is automatically deleted. Local copy is not. Yeah, you have to do it manually. Uh, no. So if you create a new branch on GitHub, you can check that out. You can just git check out and the branch and then you go to the code to the uh, remote and then we get the branch to your local computer um, but if you git uh, check out hyphen b that means you're creating a new branch if you don't use the hyphen b it's going to pull the branch from github i will show you later but uh this is a bit too long this here activating blah blah yeah, maybe let me close it. Oh. So those are the only the couple commands: uh, git uh, pull, git push, git check out, git check out hyphen b, and then the new branch name or um, git delete, something like that. So there are not many you need to remember. Probably ten command lines. That's it. Uh, so if you use uh, frequently, it's get into your memory become your muscle memory and then you can just type it you don't really need to use it let me show this one again is python x loading um Hopefully you finish soon, okay? Activating extensions. Come on. Scanning the taking too long, I probably just did long again. Sometimes we have some files because uh all the files are under the dog gig repository. So you're gonna accumulate a lot of stuff. Sometimes a lot of temporary stuff in there. So it becomes very slow. From time to time, what I would do is just to uh, delete everything on my local computer. <coughs> Git pull again, and you have a clean repo. Because you will join a temporary, temporary files on local computers. Sometimes your repo will be much larger than the one on Git. Huh? You cannot work on my repo. Uh, you, it's up to you. So you can clone multiple repo together under the same direction. Yeah, but you need to separate, okay? Don't open two reports at the same time. You go into the root directory of the repo, you open it, then you should work. So I will show it later, but for now, let's just, let me commit. Hopefully it will be done. So. Uh, let me pause the video. All right, so it's done. So now I'm going to push this branch to uh, GitHub, and let's see how it goes. So you're going to take a couple seconds, then it will appear on GitHub, and automatically it will ask you to create a pull request. So let me go back to my main uh, repository.
I just still wasting my time. Okay, it's done. Now, if you come back to here, open the repo, you should show it's going to ask you, for example, compare and pull request. So it's pretty intelligent. If you click this drop down list here, um, actually, you should be able to see all the branch. If you click it, take a look at this, right? The features branch. Right now, I'm actually already here. And so what we can do is to do this one, compare, okay? And then from there, you can get a description, you can have some source code, blah, blah, blah. But this is going to show you what file has been changed, what kind of things you're doing here, right? So this is the one that I just added. Everything looks good, okay? I can just say, okay, list uh, as a uh, on head master. Head roster messes to the map class, okay. And then later, if you want to have some source code, if you want like Python, okay. First import your hair and then m equal to app app dot add master blah blah file name m duck, duck, okay. And you can also copy and paste a screenshot just to make sure that so it works. So usually, if you contribute to the open source, any open source packages, you want to have a detailed description, what kind of things you do, how to make sure everything runs correctly. You can also add a notebook, uh, extra example, something like that. Here, I'm just showing you just a simple one. Okay, and then just say create pull request. Then done, right? So that means you have contributed to the open source and you need to wait until, unless you are the admin, Otherwise, you need to wait for the maintainer to review your request. And then, so for me, I, for example, you can ask people to review or like here, yeah, looks, everything looks fine. You wait until you see all the green color, then you can just merge. So use it here, you want to see like this one, squash and merge, okay? You don't want to use the default one called create uh, merge, a merge commit, or don't forget which one. The squash means I can add multiple commits. So when you move to the main branch, you will just treat it as one commit. Because sometimes you are working on something, you like keep pushing the commit, you like you have one commit for the for, for the pull request. You don't want to have one commit showing up on your on the main repository, in the main branch, because it, it becomes a mess. So every pull request should be just most squash, maybe you just clap all everything together and you just show it as one line on the um on the main repository. And because it's a simple one, I know this is pretty safe. It's not going to run into error. Um, but you, you should keep a uh, wait. Uh, I don't have time to wait for that. So for me, I just come here, squash. Okay. And then confirm. And that's it. So pay attention. At the bottom here, look at this one. Delete the feature branch. Right? It's actually deleted automatically. Because I saw you earlier, I have that checkbox check up. Automatically deleted the hate branch. If you turn this one on the settings of the repo, scroll all the way down. If you turn this one on, automatically delete head branches. So the head branch is basically the new branch that you created. And so right now, if you come back to my branch in here, it's gone. Okay, it's no longer. Oh, it's still here. It's actually it's deleted, but it's a bug uh, on GitHub. You see, here it's gone already. So now, right? I already most, and you can take a, take a look at this commit. I have the, a new commit in here, and it's coming from this uh, pull request. So you can see the detail, like what changes have I made um, before I, for every pull request. So this is where the next one is where you guys messed up. Is that you forgot to check out your branch locally. And now if you type the git branch, take a look at Shuma, you're still under the feature branch. So for you guys, probably, okay, uh, yeah, now I'm good. I'm going to add a new one, blah, blah, something, and then and then trying to push. All of a sudden, yeah, you cannot because that branch is already deleted. And right now, your branch is actually behind the main because the main already moves it. So they actually need to switch out. Otherwise, if you keep working on this, and then later, okay, it's unsynchronized, you are behind, it's going to reject your commit, okay? So you should always do it like this. After you move, 
is to come back to the local and then just say git check out main. So it will switch to the main branch and then just type git pull. So for example, for this one here, usually you don't want to keep anything. So just don't save. And right now it's clean. So look at this one. If I check out the new uh, main branch, look at this. Do I have the add raster function here? Yes or no? No. Because right now the main branch on my local is behind. So it will show you, okay, your branch is one behind the original main by one commit and can be fast forwarded. That means you are behind the one on GitHub. So what you need to do is to git check out main and then git pull. So pay attention, look at the main screen, the source code area. See? So now I'm coming up and now I'm synchronized with the main branch. You're good to go. So from there, you can create a new branch or you can directly make changes to there. Yeah, then you'll be fine. And like I said, if you are someone that tend to use the same branch name all the time, then after you check out the main, it's safe to just gig uh, branch. Hyphen D feature. It is the one that you have locally. So now you only have one branch on a local computer. Okay. And the other thing is that you can create a new branch on GitHub. You can put it. So in general, if you want to create a new branch like this, okay, I can git uh, check out hyphen B. And for example, I can get like this. That means I'm creating a local branch. Hyphen B means to give a new branch. But you can also do it like this. So I can go to my GitHub repository and you will know here right now I don't really have other branch. I can create a new branch name here. So for example, called demo. Okay. And then create branch demo from main. So click this one. That means right now I also I have a new branch on my GitHub. And from here, sometimes, for example, I'm very lazy. I want to make some changes directly using the web interface. I, as I said before, I usually discourage, discourage you doing this way because you will mess up sometimes, like make changes on the web and then you need to make sure that you pull, otherwise you, local um, commit will also cannot push it to you. So for now, for example, this is a new branch that I show you, right? And from there, make sure that you're under here and then now I can use this to make changes. For example, okay, I can look at this um, readme to markdown. I can just make some changes in here and uh, now I can do something, right? I can make some changes, I can say, okay, um, Visualize. Visualizing um, what is master data, for example. I already have that, but I'm just showing you the example, okay? Then you'll be make changes, update with me. So right now, this branch is ahead of the main branch. So look at this one. Once you make changes, it's gonna tell you blah blah blah. Sometimes you can make changes only using the web, but you might want to, for example, continue the changes locally. So right now, if you see here, right locally, do I have that demo branch? No. So in, instead of gig check out hyphen B, you can just gig check out demo. So in this case, it's going to go to GitHub to get the branch. So right now, let me show you like how you get it work. So earlier I I I added this gig uh, readme, right? So pay attention, right now I'm under the main branch. So if I type GitHub, uh, git checkout demo, okay? So pay attention to this, this text, uh, the markdown file here carefully. If I check out this one, and we done a hyphen B, look at it. Did it change? Did you see that? So right now I'm pulling the changes from GitHub. So that means I'm switching to the GitHub. So now this demo branch is linked, synchronized with the remote. So in here, I can continue to do that. So basically means if you know how to do things, you can work on GitHub, you can work locally, but you make sure that you are synchronized. Otherwise, you're going to um, having trouble. So here, for example, I can continue to add more stuff. And uh, GitHub Copilot, please give me some recommendation. Uh, it doesn't recommend anything. Okay. Anyway, I can say, for example, um, analyze the raster data. Okay. Control S. Okay. So right now, I'm adding one more line. I can come back to here. Okay. And I say update with me, control enter. Hope it is faster this time. So that means right now I'm editing locally and then I can push the changes. And it should be fine. You will, you, will, you will know later. Okay, you see, it's done. And right now if I refresh. Okay. 
And if you look at this markdown right here, oh, uh, not this one. Okay, no, no. Oh, okay. You need to switch to the branch, right? So right now I'm under the main branch. If I switch to the demo branch, and then look at this one. Read me to ND. See that? Coming here. So once you're done, again, same process, right? So you're going to create a pull request and then compare the branch with the, the stuff, right? So here I, I remove one line, I add two, two lines, and I can just here say um, update. Read me. Okay. Then just create pull request. And same thing, after everything runs properly, all the green check marks, then just come here, uh, squash, confirm, and merge. And you see, now we have, so earlier we have two commits, right? Now if you see on the main branch, there's only one commit. So it's only showing up as one commit. But within this pull request, I actually have two commits, right? So one commit I make changes on GitHub is the earlier one. And then I also have another commit that I make locally, right? But like I said, if you have 100 commits, you don't want to show up 100 commits. You can do that on a branch, uh, but you don't want to do that in your, your main. But it's going to do like uh, uh, overwhelming, okay? So once it's done, now you can come back to here. Right now it's still showing up in here. This is the bug on GitHub, but if you click the view all branches, it should be gone now. You don't see anything else, okay? The main branch is where you're working on the GitHub pages. This one is for website. So you, you should not delete this one, okay? This one is a website. If you delete it, your website will be gone, okay? Um, but you will reboot it every time. So again, once you finish this, then it's a good habit. Whenever you merge the branch the, the, to the main, come back to your local. Just make sure that, for example, to figure out what branch are you right now. So git uh, branch, okay? I'm on the demo. So you know it delete on GitHub, but it doesn't delete your branch locally. So you still, before you can delete the demo, you need to switch to the main branch so they can delete the demo. So I'm going to say git check out main, okay? And then you, it was going to tell you you are one commit behind, then you just git two, okay? So now you're synchronized with the main branch, and then you can start deleting the branch, okay? Git demo, enter, and then boom, done. This is the whole process, like just recycle, create a new branch, one on deck, merge, and then git check out main, delete your local branch. If you do that correctly, you will never have any synchronization issues. All the synchronization issues because you you continue to work on the old branch and then trying to push to the main, it's gonna fail you because you are behind. You also need to keep up to date because you don't want to like keep working on a lot of stuff, you add a lot of new things. If and all of a sudden you have something like very early version, you're gonna override all your stuff and then it's gonna mess up the thing. This is not something that you want to do. Make sense? So hopefully now you understand and you can probably resolve most of the issues that uh, you will likely encounter. Anyway, so that's all for some of the debugging uh, uh, issues. Any questions? Yes. Hmm? Uh, Yes, so enjoying. So usually you want to, for example, you're working on old branch, it's already messed up, it doesn't allow you. So in that case, you should go to your uh, file, copy those file that you already make changes. Or you can see that actually from here, that which file has you changed. And then you copy the file, put somewhere else. Copy the file, put somewhere else. And then you get check out the main branch. And then you, the main branch will synchronize with the, uh, the one on GitHub. And then you create another new branch. For example, git check out hyphen b and then something else. And then you copy the file, put in this new branch. And then because this one right now is built on top of the main branch, so it's synchronized, then you will be able to merge with the main. But if you work on the old one, your old one is behind, then you cannot. So that's something you need to be careful. So you always check out the main branch and then create a new branch. It's going to create the one based on the main. And that means 100% make sure that it's synchronized. So you will be able to merge it if you make some changes. If it is all one, sometimes you delete something, you add something, it gets confused. 
then then you will not allow you to uh, merge things into the main branch. Question? Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What 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 file format it is? What file format it is? If there is something that you you can simply just ignore. So here, if there's typo, like I go to the docs. Uh, the doc uh, underscore github workflows and then here so if this is a csv file it should be already ignored what, what kind of file it is so you put the file in your repo Uh, I didn't know exactly what. Yeah, I can look into that later. So basically, if there's anything in your output, it might treat it as like. Um, but you should not be need to like put all the acronym of all the states in there. It's definitely unnecessary. Uh huh. Yeah. As one thing, if it really uh, it doesn't like it's very inconvenient, you come here. And then you just skip the file somewhere here. Just type this uh, under the MK docs. You skip the file in here. Oh, no, this one just skip, not executed. But if there's typo, you still need to um, come here, the docs view. You can skip the file. So you can come here. Uh, if there's a specific file, you don't want it to check. So for example, you look at this one, like data type. I can have a comma and then file name something dot ip or mb you can skip it here then it will not check the file so for example something dot data types uh, i have a no uh, i think a notebook somewhere here you also treat it as a typo so for example various data type blah 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 and i don't want to check that one because they, that one has some kind of typo so you can ignore the file specific file name in here and then it should, fine. It should work just fine okay any other questions About what? Huh? Oh yeah, it, it, it separate two different windows. No, no, spring view is. Yeah, open a new window. Don't open it under the same here because. It's a Git repository. If you open under the same one, it's not a Git repository. So for example, right now, this is zero here, right? Like this is the one under my, my downloads directory, right? So this is the one. You can clone as many as you want. For example, I can come here. I can look at this one. Okay, open any repository. For example, I can open the, um, how about this one? This is a smaller one. For example, the dataset repository, something like that. And yeah, I can just come here, click, clone, and then so what you can do is usually just open a new window, right? And then from here you can clone another repo. So open a new repo and then you just say open git repository. Okay. And then just paste the link, control V, enter, and then save the location. So I'm gonna to save to my uh downloads directory under the same one here. Click select. And then that's it, right? So now you have these two. Uh, you can open a new window because I already have this new window. So it's just open in the same, uh, the one that I'm opening, right? So now, right, I have this one repo here. I have another repo here. But you don't want to open like like this. You don't want to open these two repo together. So you don't you don't want to do this. Right click, uh, store more options, open show in call. This is the wrong way to open it because 
when we just do the call, it's integrates with gig. This one is not a gig because see, no source control. This is not a gig. Oh, okay. Now it's pretty intelligent. It was able to actually to be able to detect like in the past it was not, but usually it's not recommended. So you here you have two two gigs. It basically detect the subdirectory. So sometimes you get confused. It will mess you up. So don't do that. I would just recommend just open individual one, two separate Visual Studio Code windows, and it can work. So for me, because I have three screens, I I'm open two at the same time. I can work multiple simultaneously, and I can do the some um, make changes. Make sense? Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Hmm? No, it's not. What? What do you mean? So you kick, kick, clone the repo? Are you? Do you clone it, or what do you mean? You? No, clone only will happen once. You don't clone multiple times. Open the world. Don't clone again. Only clone once. That's the whole point of doing clone. It's only once and then you should, you should give pull. You should never clone the same repo multiple times. No, it, it, then, then it's wrong. Then it's wrong. The, the whole point of like the repo can be 100 megabyte. You don't, every time you clone, you download whole thing 100 megabyte. If you get pull, you will just get the difference. So you can come. If you want to start, just get, just open it. Don't yeah. Don't don't clone. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that it's like don't go like for every time you come here and then uh, go here and then uh, maybe open a new window. Don't don't click this like uh, open from gig. No, they that means you are you are cloning every time. So don't don't go to this one. This one idea is to be only one time for one repo. Just delete everything on a local computer and then just clone one last time. Because if you already have 14 copies, I don't know which one is real, the, the latest one. Yeah. Delete everything. That's what I'm saying. If you may stop, clean up all your folders, clone again, and then start working on it. Next time, you should be just oh, come here. Under the recent, you should be able to open, for example, my GOH, or you can go to open folder. Never use clone this one again unless it's a new repository. Sorry, I should make it really clear. I saw I already made it clear, but uh, apparently it's not. Okay. Yeah, just click listen. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, probably this lecture I'm going to dedicate it just to debugging. Okay. I don't think I have time to cover the roster, so we cover it next week, and um, we have four more minutes. Anything else? What do you mean delete the map branch? Yes, I delete the one on my locally. Yeah, gig branch right now it's gone, right? I don't have map branch anymore. Uh huh. Uh huh. So what do you do? Do you have a map branch along your local computer? Yeah. So, but I can delete it. I can create a new one. I can gig check out. Type on B, I can create a new map branch again if I want to. But the problem that you need to be careful is if the map branch is already have, you have one called map, you create, cannot create a new, uh, the same name. So it's going to use the one that's already exists. But lake branch might be very behind the main branch. And if you work on the map branch, eventually you cannot contribute back because you are behind. Yes? Uh huh. Uh huh. 
Um, I, I, come here, show me. Have a yes, mm -hmm. and I have it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. This did not miss any fire. Uh, 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 a geek. Uh huh. My local video. So that's geek pool. Uh, you need geek pool again, maybe. Okay. So now you will recognize. So you need to run the geek pool. If you create a new one, so sometimes it is not then. Um. So now you should have. No, no, there's no updates right now. You know the branch name test remotely. So if you geek check out again. Okay. Uh, working? Okay, yeah. So now it works. Mm -hmm. Yes? Do it what? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. In the, yeah. So if you want to show it on the website, then you need to yeah, add the talk stream. Add yeah, yeah. Talk stream. Yeah. Go talk stream. Yes. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you edit, do, do you modify the MK docs? The MK docs? Yeah. Scroll down. No, 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 scroll down. Here. Do the in another line. Yeah. Yeah. Let me stop the recording. Um,